Hello everyone. Um, my name is uh, Howard Wright. Welcome to the Foundation uh, Setting the Scene webinar. And nice to see you all, if only as a number. Uh, this will run for about half an hour and uh, there will be Q&A at the end of it. So if you want to pass on any questions to Michael via chat, that is fine. Um, I shall go through the course uh, as it stands at the moment and what we demand on the course uh, in terms of entry, in terms of quality and the actual module structure and timetabling of the course. And I'll show you some student work as well. And I'm sure you don't want to see my noble head, so I'll turn myself off. But as I said, for those new people just joining us, uh, Howard Wright, course director, it is a BA Honours Art and Design course, year zero. It is a foundation diploma, and it's not a degree, it's a foundation diploma. And it's year zero, which allows you then to choose a pathway into a degree programme, both in UU and in UK colleges. Um, this year, we have six students moving to uh, Bournemouth, Norwich, London, Manchester, and most colleges in Britain will ask for a foundation <laughs> diploma. And uh, we think we have one of the best, of course, in the UK. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll turn myself off, hopefully. Yep. And hopefully you can all hear me. And we'll run through the slides. As I said, there's a Q&A session, and hopefully we can uh, see those questions at the end. Okay. So I've called it Art and Design Foundation Year, setting the scene. You will see through the slides that um, there are numerous images from past student work, and it gives you an idea of the variety that we're looking for. Also the range of media, a uh, range of drawing skills, and the range of disciplines that we, we actually have to allow the students to participate in. And we'll go through those in more detail later on. So as I said, it's a BA Honours Art and Design. It's a foundation year of one academic year, that is two semesters. And that's me. Okay, so it comes under a few titles, but foundation year for specialist degree is the normal title. The specialist degree is what you choose on the foundation year. Foundation is like the base of a pyramid and it allows you to experience, I think about nine different pathways and you will choose a degree pathway at the end, at this point, really, in the year. You may come in with a, a notion that you're going to be an animator or a game designer or a textile artist, uh, and that's fine. And you will go through all those different workshops and demonstrations for that. But you will also experience painting, print, sculpture, uh, as we will see later on. So it is about experience a full range of art and design and digital practices but at the same time, allowing you to specialize. And it's two semesters. The one, the first semester is about orientating yourself and the second one is really resolving your creative practice. So you can choose the proper pathway for your three years of your degree and beyond. So course content, it's, it's a bit simpler than a degree program as it is only one year. So the foundation year, I've covered some of that, but with but more detail. Um, the foundation year in art and design is essentially an introductory course. And it is studio based and workshop based and allows also, of course, for a full range of history and theory and library research. This is very, very important because every degree program has at least one third of their program given over to history and theory uh, research, writing skills. Uh, we not only want to train artists and designers, but we want to train art historians and researchers in the future. So for one third of our course, it will be history and theory as well. As you can see there, although there's studio work across a range of disciplines, we shall be looking at what those are later on. Essays and oral presentations are also delivered by students. So I'm getting in right at the start, the essay, which is up to 2,000 words, and an oral presentation that is a presentation to your peer group about your research in the second semester is also very important. The diploma course, of course, it's 24 weeks. 
uh, two semesters. At the end of each semester, there's a three weeks assessment. So essentially, it begins in September and finishes in early May, as it stands at the moment. Each, each semester has two modules. As I said, the first semester is concerned with orientation and the second with consolidation. So there, as I said, two might be studio and two might be history and theory. The first semester allows the students to experience a full range of discipline choices. So whether you've chosen animation or textiles, you will experience digital design, um, painting, printmaking, and life drawing, all of which will allow and inform your actual discipline area and enrich it. The second semester, as I said, will allow the student to specialise and choose their future BA, BDES pathway. Assessment is important, obviously, and occurs throughout the semesters and at the end. And there is a continual review of all tasks and projects which contribute to the final marks. So we teach in the studio, there's a close tutorial contact and assessment is usually, not, usually putting up little exhibitions or displays which can then be reviewed. So to many people, it will be their first public exhibition, both for their peer group and for the people walking through the studios. Uh, it's also good that they should experience what the foundation students are doing. Teaching is composed of tutorials, yes. Seminars, very important. Lectures, yes. As well as workshop and technical demonstrations. So it's really a, a foundation in art and design practice and teaching and assessment. And those three areas, tutorials, seminars and lectures, are all the teaching that you receive in degree programmes and beyond. So it's essentially moving right from school into the university uh, life of lecturers, assessments and technical know-how. It's really developing a skill base which you haven't had there before. So we're trying to shift you out of school work into something much more individualistic and expressionistic. So the rationale, the rationale for foundation is, as I said before, most, if not all, art and design courses prefer a pre-degree course foundation, foundation diploma in art and design BA honours. So you have a full experience of all art and design approaches. And this informs your choice for the undergraduate specialism, which you will select early in the second semester. So the first semester gives you the full range and experience of all areas. All course directors from across the board will deliver on their course and you will be informed about say, what painting requires, what animation requires, what game design requires, and you will make this informed choice either towards the end of the first semester or early in the second semester. So foundation itself, as I said, is about orientating yourself to university life. It's one of the major things for us. We know you're coming from school and A-levels. It's important, for the most part, it's important then that you acquaint yourself with a wholly new environment, wholly new peer group, and the teaching and assessment methods. So therefore, we are looking for students, we are looking for students who will commit to study, to interact, and most importantly, to collaborate with their peers. At the moment, this year, 85 students are graduating with a diploma. We expect that to go up, but we would hover around number-wise 85, 90, 100 students per year. So we have five new studios on the fifth floor of the Belfast campus. Uh, we moved from old studios last year, and these are vast studios, which are a fine under, an uninterrupted view of the uh, skyline of Belfast and Belfast Lock and Cave Hill. So it will never be built over, so it's actually perfect for drawing, landscape drawing and environmental drawing. Uh, students have dedicated studios and so if you're textiles you're in one, if you're painting you're in another. If something like interaction design or animation, you go to interaction design and animation studios to work on their uh, technology and their computers. So we make the full range of uh, workshops, and spaces, dedicated spaces in the college open to foundation students. So it's a full-time course, as I said there, it's the fifth floor of the campus and it's, you get the lift, you go straight up and we're there between architecture and screen arts. And I just put this note at the bottom, of course, being a university, it is there to provide a stimulating and challenging environment 
with a wide range of visiting national and international visitors and professionals. It's very important that you can access lectures by professors in their chosen field and that you talk to third level students, master's students, PhD students, something you don't get at any other institution. So the foundation is very much part of that life and that society within the university. It's very, very important that uh, foundation students know they can access it and that the visitors can come and talk to us and see us. Uh, we find having moved to uh, the space between architecture and screen arts, we get a lot of throughput from architectural students, architectural staff uh, and other staff members. So it's really good to see foundation work up on the walls and uh, that's a, a thing we try to push, that there's a continual rolling exhibition of work that's being done by foundation students and that everybody is allowed to see it and comment upon it and it is made visible and of course recorded in some way. So it's a very very active area and it's something which we have to um, promote more that art and design is a public enterprise. It's not something you do at home and it's not something you do uh, hidden away. Uh, you have to be in the college um, continually in contact with staff and other students because we do find that you learn as much from the students as you do from us if not more so. Uh, we do have master students that come up and teach for us, we have PhD students that teach for us and we have course directors that take particular discipline areas into their uh, studios as well. So you can see that the rationale for it is not only for you to be the best you can be but also to allow you to engage as much as possible with university life and the collegiality of the university and get as much out of it as you can. Um, I'll have a word about the library, which is the best art and design library in Ireland. And when we do the history and the theory, it's very, very important that you access it and begin doing academic research, not to put a finer point on it. Okay. So why have you chosen it? Well, it's a balanced preparation, as I say, for all disciplines in art and design. Our students have the opportunity to work across the board, as I said, between undergraduate and postgraduate. Uh, we strongly encourage this and we allow many opportunities for students to experience using their skills in real world contexts. For instance, in the first semester in the uh, drawing module, which we'll look at shortly, you can see one of the drawings at the side there, um, we go to the Botanic Gardens and we do drawings in the Palm House. And that's a really, really important uh, area for students to start talking to one another and start collaborating. Uh, last year, I introduced five themes for the first time, and we, I think we'll use those again this year, like urban, collaborate, space, height, and so on. It's very important that people start getting into the way of thinking along the terms of briefs and projects, but being as experimental and as creative as they can within those limits. And that's where we start. So we also have life drawing classes, of course, as well. And ultimately the foundation course, you will develop an individual and confident direction in your specialist area. And of course, we want you to take up a future career that will lead, hopefully maybe to master's level, higher research, or professional, a high professional job within the art and design and digital design area. So the foundation is the basis of all of that. And it's something which we value, and I think all students value because um, I probably taught most of them uh, in, the, in the few years I've been here. So foundation is common, and wherever you go in Britain, you'll be asked for a foundation diploma. Sometimes you come to the UU and you maybe apply directly to year one and staff will say, no, do foundation first. So it is important that you participate in that foundation year and develop the full potential of your talent from life drawing to off-campus projects. As I said, history and theory is taught and we expect library work, contextual essays and oral verbal presentations, PowerPoints to your peer group. So people must begin to interact and you'll make new friends, of course, and hope it's a very exciting and enjoyable year. The one thing I will stress there, of course, is progression to year one of your degree is automatic. So there's no more interviews. Once you pass foundation year, you are straight into year one in September, as the students this year have just completed. So 80, 80, 81, 82 students have completed their degree or pre-degree, and they just walk now into their own 
degree area in September. There was no interview. Um, so it's year zero of a common four year degree. The diploma allows students obviously to progress to a UK college as well. There are six this year and it provides an excellent grounding for any potential interview or portfolio review where well, they will be interviewed and portfolios will be reviewed if they're going to a UK college. Uh, we have a student this year going to London College of Fashion, another going to Manchester, Norwich, Bournemouth and the Royal Central School. So all of those colleges in Britain will ask for foundation and we believe we provide that solid uh, basis of theoretical understanding of current issues but also a skill base in the area plus historical contexts. So we're looking for, and I can't stress it enough, the two things, a skill base and a theoretical base. The thinking about what you're making and the actual making. Uh, we would call it practitioners who think you're not here just to make objects or in order to hide away and just draw. This is not the kind of student we're looking for. We're looking at students who will actually want to think about what they're making, be excited by art history and be excited by other artists' work, contemporary and historical. And also, hopefully in years to come, be part of that art history and become historically important and significant artists in their own right. Uh, two former students uh, won the Turner Prize in, uh, in Britain uh, and they studied here at UU with us. So all of that is very, very important for uh, the future and foundation gives you that. So after all that, entry requirements here we go. Uh, I'll just set it up there. I'm not going into any more detail than that. Application is through UCAS before the middle of January, and we do have a high volume. You will be asked to submit an e-portfolio of your own work uh, to 25 images, and a review panel of members of staff will assess your potential for entry. And I'll go that, through that in a bit more detail because I know it's an area of concern. What we're looking for is You'll be asked once your application has been accepted that your e-portfolio be submitted. Observational drawing and sketching. We don't mind curriculum work, but we are also interested to see work you do outside the curriculum. We're not just wanting you to fulfill a level criteria. We want you to see what you can express and create for yourself when you have the freedom to do so. A range of materials and processes are highly desirable. You can show large scale work, 3D work, fragile work in photographs and animation and film can also be shown for us. We are interested in final outcomes, but as I said, development of your work is of interest. It shows your research skills. If you note the word research, you'll see that quite a lot, a lot from foundation up to PhD, research skills and decision-making processes. Here you are, we look for inventiveness, innovation, exploration, and a willingness to push beyond comfort zones. We want you to experiment and find your own individual and possibly provocative language of expression. So we're looking for individuals who can work on their own and with a group to find something which is wholly their own. So we're looking for students who are passionate, obviously, in a career or for a career in art and design and are willing to, as I say, collaborate, interact and share experiences. You'll be in studios where you share the space. We expect you to talk together. You'll also do uh, seminars and you'll do feedback and reviews of your own work to your group. So this collaboration and this interaction is essential. You can show this by uh, including personal sketchbooks, of course, uh, written and visual research. Drawing skills are required, obviously, and ideas development and independent self-directed thinking. Drawing skills, I stress, because for all the discipline areas, which I'll show you shortly, drawing is the basis. You may say drawing is the foundation of foundation. Drawing is the fundamental area for each area, whether it's green design, animation, textiles, sculpture. Obviously it is, so drawing is essential. And we want to see developmental drawing as well as completed drawings. Briefly, uh, this is the semesters and the modules attached to it. Uh, at the moment, we have four modules, 09, 010, 011, and 012. Semester one, runs for 12 weeks, semester two, 12 weeks. And you'll see I've drawn it differently because what happens with drawing and practice, that is the first module you engage with when you come into the course. So you just do it on alone, it's standalone for three weeks. And you can see it's a portfolio of drawings we're requiring. 
and a range of media. So drawing with a torch, uh, drawing with the back of your hand, drawing blindfold, um, drawing upside down, someone else drawing you. Uh, last year I introduced collaborative drawings where two or three students would collaborate on the one drawing. And because we have a new vast space in our third, our fifth floor, sorry, and um, we've got uh, vast sheets of paper, we had these huge, huge drawings that we were able to put up around the walls. And I thought it was very exciting to get people interacting, talking, and uh, enjoying themselves just at the, uh, at the outset of their course. After that three weeks, there's assessment of that. Then there's uh, introducing studio practice, which is the big one really, because it allows nine weeks, which cover the three areas, design, fine art, digital practice, design being product design, say, uh, jewelry design, fine art, sculpture, print, paint, digital practice, interaction design, game design, animation, and photography is in there as well, of course. So those are a series of little small exhibition displays every three weeks, which allows us to mark and assess and for you to be thinking about, is this where I want to be? I came here to do game design, but I really fancy doing textiles now. So it's for you to change your mind, or it could confirm I'm doing animation and I'm definitely now doing animation. And that is uh, a really, really uh, good start to the, um, uh, I think the course. So those run after one another, three weeks and nine weeks. Semester two, Again, 12 weeks. And as you can see there, they now run in parallel. So you do two modules at the same time. And that is what the university in all courses, art and design, run at degree level. They run in parallel. So you've got two items of work to do at the same time. O11 is a contextual research, which I run. And it's 20 credits and it's over 12 weeks. And you can see there we require an academic essay and an oral presentation by each individual student to their peer group. O12 is a move on from O10. It's a huge module, 40 credits, 12 weeks, and you can see it's the one that leads right up to graduation. A final exhibition of practice for the students chosen specialist area. So round about that interface between semester one, semester two, you will have chosen your pathway. There will be some wiggle room, of course, that you can change and move around. And I don't want to go too much depth into the modules at the minute, but there's room to modify things, but certainly round about just before Easter, it's set in stone, and that is where you go for your degree. So from September, really, till January, it's you finding out where you're heading, and then by maybe late February, it is written down, and you've chosen your area. And then you do an exhibition in your final chosen area in May. So a painting show, a textile show, a graphic design show. And in that way, you've experienced every area and you've chosen and you've chosen properly. You have a good contextual basis for that area. You've got the history, you've got people who've actually created historically in that area, and you've got a good solid, literally, foundation in that space. So there's the nine pathways. Discipline areas, degree pathways, they come under many names. Um, animation, game design, graphic design, illustration, interaction design, painting, photography with video, printmaking, sculpture lens, and textile art design and fashion. You can see that painting, sculpture, and print are all in fine art, but they are separate workshops. And I can say at this point that graphic design and textiles uh, get the high numbers. Uh, I think both around about 20, moving into the degree program this year. Uh, game design is brand new. So it's just off the blocks this year. Uh, interactions, been around a while. Photography with video is getting more popular. Animation and uh, interaction design are just holding their own, around about eight to 10 students. So we can see the range from just digital design, ordinary design, and uh, textiles. And fine art, of course, covers a range of areas. You can have conceptual art, performance art, and so on and so forth. So we allow you to work in those areas and allow you to produce work and maybe bring inspiration from one area and move it to another area until you're satisfied that the pathway is your own. Staff and teaching. And there are, at the moment there are four core staff, myself, Jerry, Rachel and Pauline. 
and we mostly module coordinate and uh, we are all studies advisors for a group of students. As I said, there's around 85 to 90 students, so we might have 25 students, 28 students each. Uh, other teaching is facilitated by staff from the degree pro individual degree programs. And of course, all course directors will introduce their programs to foundation in the first semester. And as I said before, postgraduate students offer teaching support and there is life room with two models, models which is used extensively in 009. So, uh, in preparation, um, each module has its own handbook and series of briefings. These outline the criteria for assessment, but all teaching is studio based using the space on foundation, as I said, the new brand new open spaces above. How the virus might affect that or impact upon that, uh, I can't say with any certainty at this moment. Except to say we are starting back in September and I'm assuming somewhere will be made around to use that space. We also dedicated studios and workshops in the degree programs and technical support obviously is provided. So before starting each student will receive a materials list and drawing as I said before on ideas generation are the basis of the course so we expect a lot of developmental work as well as finished resolved pieces for display and there's two uh, previous drawings to the side there. So we're moving out of A-levels and we're moving to something much more personal and expressive. Once you're accepted onto the course, and I'll be doing this very shortly, probably within the next three or four weeks, um, I send out a summer project uh, to each student. And this project must be completed before the start of teaching in September, fingers crossed. So this work is reviewed in week zero, which actually the week zero is the week prior to starting. Normally would start around about 21st, 22nd of September. So this would be around about 15th, 16th, uh, the week of registration. And we start teaching them. Uh, so at this point, you will also be allocated a studies advisor for your length of stay. So teaching like on, well, unlike most degree programs, this starts in week zero for us. And it begins with the 09 module, intensive series of drawing sessions over the first three weeks. So I expect people to come prepared for that with their materials and it's a range of drawing that covers environment, botanic drawing, life drawing, still life drawing and um, space and line. So it's something to break down the intensity of air levels into something more fluid, something more immediate and something more expressive. And that's a bit of detail just about the course itself. Uh, we start in September, obviously, and it's important then that we understand it's a full-time course um, for the 24 weeks. And it's if you're away for any length of time, obviously a studies advisor is there to uh, support you and we talk about it. But hopefully everybody's engaged as well and everybody knows now that the collaboration and interaction are essential, both for us as staff and for you as a student with other students. So. This is me and um, that's my email and our office, as I said, are on the fifth floor down bottom there. Um, and that's a life drawing uh, that we did. So we can see how expressive and we use color quite a lot, obviously, uh, in our course. So we come to the end and if there any questions or Q&A, I can answer those. That was just a brief run.